And Marvel Crisis Protocol, traffic lights are important. How else are your heroes going to know when they can cross? Um, hmm. No, okay. They probably don't care about traffic lights in that way, but they will want to probably pick them up and throw them at their opponents. Today, I'm going to show you how I paint mine. To speed things up, I already primed the traffic light with the black primer. Now I'm going to airbrush some light gray from Vallejo Air. Um, I'm going to also use a bit of uh, flow improver. I find that paler paints have thicker pigments that cause it to dry up in the airbrush. So here we go, just spraying pretty much the, the entire uh, traffic light, base and all. Now for all the yellow parts on the traffic lights, I use uh, Vallejo Game Colors Scruffulous Brown. It's one of my go-tos for yellows. Uh, it just coats so well. It makes a nice dark yellow, almost like a school bus yellow. Uh, I add a few drops of the Flow Improver and then use my brush, this loaded with a bit of water to uh, just mix that up. Now with thin light coats, coat everything that's gonna be yellow. All the metal bits are going to be painted with Army Painter War Paints Gun Metal. I'm just going to paint these by hand, so I'm putting a few drops on my palette, uh, adding a little bit of water to it to thin it down, but not too much. Um, and we're just going to coat any parts that are metal, like the main post and the uh, the, p the, the parts uh, that are holding the crosswalk sign, etc. Now I'm going to be painting the uh, screen for the crosswalk sign. I'm using Vallejo Air's dark grey blue. I really like this color for, uh, instead of using blacks, this with a thin coat of uh, null oil gives a very nice effect. At this point, I noticed that I'd uh, forgotten a few areas for the uh, the gunmetal, so I'm going back with some gunmetal, filling those areas out. Time for the traffic lights themselves. For the red light, I'm using Citadel Base Mephiston Red. It's a nice, deep, bright red that uh, will look pretty good on the tabletop as a uh, stoplight. For the amber light, uh, I'm going back to the Scruffulous Brown. Since most of these, this color was airbrushed on, it's uh, it's been thinned quite a bit and is a little bit see-through. So putting pure uh, scruffulous brown on the light will actually pop uh, a little bit more than the rest of the, uh, the traffic lights. While I have the scruffulous brown out, I'm going to do some uh, bit of highlighting. Just the uh, the topmost parts of the traffic light, anywhere where this yellow is, uh, I'm just going to touch it up. It'll make it brighter, looking like the sun is hitting it. So 
So for the green light, I'm using a new paint, at least new to me. It's Scale Colors Boreal Green. It's from Scale 75. Um, I did notice that most of the pots I've gotten of this, the tip hasn't been punctured, so you can't squeeze the paint out. Um, I don't have a needle near me at this time, so I just took the top off, scooped a little bit of the paint, and started painting. Uh, this is when I realized that the paint wasn't shaking well enough. Uh, it was just pretty much just the, uh, the matte medium coming out at this point. So I shook it up, took the cap off, grabbed a little bit more of the, the green, and painted that on. Now for one of my favorite parts, the wash. Uh, I'm using Citadel's Nuln Oil, one of my go-tos here. Uh, I'm going to be putting this on all of the metallic parts as well as the grey screen from the crosswalk, just to deepen the colour a bit. I'm also applying the Null and Oil to the base. The, uh, the grey from the airbrush became a little bit too uh, uniform for my liking for concrete especially based on how I make my uh, the bases for the miniatures for this game. So just a quick coat of the uh, the Null Noel on there. Now if you take a look at the base, the bottom of the, uh, the post is on some sort of metal plaque. So I'm adding some of the gun metal to this plaque. Once the metal paint's dry, I'm adding a bit of a wash to it. Uh, I first added some Null Noil. Unfortunately, I think that video got lost. Uh, but once that dried up, I added a little bit of Agrax Earthshade just to show that it's starting to rust or people enough people dropped their coffees or whatever from the streets onto the, uh, the plate. Now, this next part is completely optional. Uh, if you're comfortable enough to try it, then go for it. What I'm grabbing is a bit of the Armory Painter War Paints white and with a small, small brush. And I'm going to freehand the crosswalk uh, crossing man. So I start off with a little dot for his head, then an angled line for his body. Once that's done, I do another little uh, line near the bottom to basically finish his legs. Then from there I add his arm in the back and the arm in the front. Now if you're not comfortable doing this by hand, feel free to either purchase uh, decals or print some with uh, decal paper. And here's your completed traffic sign. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that tutorial. And now you can get your traffic lights painted up and have Hulk smash them on Thor's head or have Spider-Man throw them at Doc Ock. Well, if you did enjoy it, please make sure to click like. And if you haven't already done so, click subscribe. That way you can be notified when we release more videos, more tutorials or battle reports, whatever it may be. Enjoy, and see you next time.